Hello, it's uh, Stuart Shrigge from uh, Tiny Tugboats, uh, blogspot.com. Um, I see on Duckworks where they're running a bit of a thing wanting to know what uh, sort of suggestions for power tools we could use and, and I've got a ripper. This, this here, I'll just turn that round, there, there's your cord, see, and you're walking away and lo and behold, they, they catch in like that, right? Well, it's enough to make you throw you out in the river and jump in after it. Now, what I'm figuring is, turn the thing around again, well, we get we get the power cord, there's, there's the lead, right, see, so you, you plug that direct into the back of the machine, like that, right? Now, that does away with these these little ferrules here that underneath there you can see how that one's that one there's got a bit of a split in it it does away with all that now if if the lead here breaks here you just cut that off and put a new lead on it saves all the problem the other thing too most of your power cores come with 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 a with a grey lead or a flipping a flipping bloody black one right now you can't see them so good now this is my extension cord and it's yellow see look out in the grass you can see it right out there now if that's black you can't see it so that's my idea and I think that um, manufacturers I think the manufacturers should have a look at it and say well yeah that's not a bad idea now if you if you don't want to go that way I'll say to the blokes on the on the thing if you don't want to go that way what you do over here I think that might get it